Good afternoon, automotive fanatics. It's Peter, your automotive fanatic, coming at you guys with a follow-up video. Several months back, I put together a very short video on how to hack the QuickJack. That video ended up being a very popular uh, video amongst QuickJack owners who wanted to see how to hack their QuickJack to make it much easier to move around on a flat surface. Now, one of the things that was very common amongst these users is they wanted to find out how this hack specifically worked. And then I noticed that in the video itself, I really didn't show you guys how the hack was going to work. So today, what I wanted to do was to put together a very short follow-up video to show you exactly how the hack helps your quick jack on how it rolls around and what happens to the quick jack when you are actually using it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and put this to the test so that you guys can see exactly how the hack works on the quick jack. So here you can see the front balls that I have and the um, rear bearing, it's a little hard to see, but it rests very similar to this. Now, right now, these arms are resting on the ball and that allows the quick jack to move around. Uh, as you can tell, the main frame isn't quite on the ground. That's why, again, you can move it around. When we go ahead and lift it up slowly, let's do that. Now you guys see how these no longer touch the ground. And if you take a look here, the main base of the quick jack is now resting on the floor and 100% secure. So that's how it works, guys. We'll just now that you guys understand how the quick jack hack works, I might as well give you an update on how the bearings have worked. It has been several months since I installed them and I have used my lift, I would say at least 50 plus times, rolling them back and forth, probably even more. At this point, they have performed flawlessly, no problems at all. The only issue that I run into is the quick jacks when they're sliding on my garage floor, it will uh, kind of hit a specific crack in my garage and it'll kind of buckle a little bit But that's not the fault of uh, the little bearings. It's just my flooring is terrible for you guys who have smooth floors I am envious of you the quick jack must slide around really nicely So that's about the only issue that I've had um, I have also thought about perhaps taking that larger bearing that I put in the very back and putting them both in the very front so that um, I have more contact with the ground and because the bearing itself is larger, it may move a little faster. So that might be a revision that I do later on in the future. But for the time being, I have no complaints. It has made my life so much easier just to simply slide things around without any difficulty. And then when it is raising and with that main body of the quick jack uh, dropping back onto the ground, it has provided a safe way of lifting the vehicle. I do want to go ahead and thank you, the viewers who actually asked for this video. I'm happy I was able to make it for you guys. And I think it's actually long overdue because I didn't include it in the original hack. As usual, my automotive fanatic family, I appreciate you watching another video. I do hope this has helped you in any way. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel as it does help my, uh, my channel kind of move up the ladder. So thanks again. This is going to be Peter, your automotive fanatic, signing off until the very next time, my friends.